today we have the first in a series on dubbing important charts. It's pretty straightforward. These charts convey something important about what is happening in the world, and they're worth taking the small amount of time it takes to understand them to gain the perspective that they offer. I'm not ever going to get real deep into technical analysis, mainly because that's not my skill set. These are going to be more big picture ideas that fall in line with important macroeconomic and historical trends. What we have for the first chart is a real doozy. If you've watched the rise of Donald Trump, the result of the Brexit vote, and other secessionist movements throughout Europe, and you ended up scratching your head as to why exactly this is happening, and didn't default to, everyone is racist, because you're not an insane SJW, this chart goes a very long way to explain why the majority of people in the developed world are not very pleased with their economic prospects and their governments as a result of that. Here we have what is called the globalization elephant graph. It's called such because of its shape. It looks like an elephant with its trunk raised in the air. What information the chart is showing us is changes in real income from 1988 to 2008. Groups that had the lowest income to start with are shown on the left. And as you move to the right, you reach wealthier groups of people. And if you're wondering, yes, this chart ends in 2008, but the trend remains largely intact today. Basically, the lower you are on this chart, the less income the group is making today compared to 1988. And as we can see, some groups have seen huge increases in real income over this period of time, while others haven't been so lucky. The first data point worth noticing is the tail of the elephant. These are the world's poorest people, who are still more or less disconnected entirely from the modern economy, though so they've had a rough time of things. Next, we see this huge bulge in increased incomes in the middle of the chart, making up the body of the elephant. This section is the emerging economies, places like China, India, and so on, that have seen a huge uh, growth in their economies over this period of time. People in this income range have increased their in real income. That, however, slides quickly and dips into the negative as we get to the trunk of the elephant. As the chart starts to slide down, it is getting into income ranges that include the poor and middle class of the developed world places like America, Western Europe, Japan, and so forth. The poor and middle class in the developed world is actually making less 20 years after 20 years of so-called economic progress and growth. Of course, things like houses, cars, education, health care, and so on got more expensive over that period of time as well. So the real living standards of the majority of people in the developed world is actually worse than it was in 1988. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this is not going to lead to a political climate that is asking for more of the same. Finally, we get to the raised trunk of the elephant. This section rep represents the richest people in the world, the global elite. Pretty much everyone in this group is in the corrupt, unholy alliance of corporate finance, government, technology, and media. Basically, this group has raked in huge profits and seen its incomes rise, all the while buying more influence with their gains, while looking down on the rest of the population with indignation, asking, What's wrong with you? You must all be drug heads or something. While continuing to put in place more of the economic and government policies that made the chart look this way in the first place. Sound like a recipe for a little unhappiness, wouldn't you say? So, now that you've seen the chart, the world gets a lot clearer, doesn't it? Why does the stock market continually rise? Well, it seems like most people struggle to keep up with expenses and aren't making any progress. It's because their incomes are getting lower, while their costs are getting higher. So what rational person in the developed world would ask for no more of this? No one would. That's why the media, also perched up high on that elitist trunk, is constantly telling you how great everything supposedly is, throwing false government and economic data at you, hope, hoping you'll just blame yourself for the blight in your life and won't dig beneath the surface to find the policies that have created this problem. So there you have the recipe for Trump, 
the formula for Brexit, the cause of most of the angst in the developed world, summarize quite neatly into one single chart. I'm no mathematician, but I do love me some charts and formulas, particularly when they can explain so much about the world in such a short period of time. I hope you found this chart useful, and if you think someone else you know might benefit from the information, share it to them, subscribe to the channel for more in the ongoing series of important charts. Thanks, and have a nice day.